All right, to set up a one-timer, we're skating in with number 33, left side of the screen. And if you'll notice, number 58 coming in in the center is open. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down R2 to pass. Uh, that's also known as the right trigger button for Xbox One. Now, one could also try a saucer pass. I'm just more comfortable with holding down R2. Saucer pass is R1 for PS4 or the right button for the Xbox One. So we're holding down R2, and we're going to aim, of course, in the direction of 58. He's got just enough space. You need an open shooter for this. He's got just enough space to be open. And then right after we fire that pass, we're going to take the right analog stick and flick it up uh, for, like, a wrist shot. We want to be quick in our timing, because if we're too slow, it's not going to work. And we get off a nice uh, one-timer right there. Because this can be kind of challenging to do it in a game with no practice, you may want to go into training practice. It's going to be under more. And it's going to be the third one down, training and practice. And then you're going to want to select team practice. Now, once we get into this screen right here, what we're going to want to do is basically uh, set up a scenario. I mean, there's three different types. We could just go offensive zone, or you can do uh, maybe rush is probably good. And you want to have more offensive players than defensive players. So let's say, to make it simple, we'll do like three on one. And that way we can kind of get an idea of how to find an open shooter. Once again, to complete a one-timer, uh, one's going to want to hold down R2 and then release it to pass. And then, of course, flick the right analog stick up in a quick motion. It takes a while to get the timing down, but once you get it down, it's pretty cool. And again, uh, one can set practice mode however they want. If they're good with 3-on-1, they can switch to 2-on-1, 5-on-4, however, however they want to do it. Uh, but the key thing is to just try to use this to get the practice down to figure out what works and, of course, what doesn't work. That way, when one gets into a game, they can actually score into one timer. And, of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. As always, for more tips on... In HL22, there is a playlist on this channel to make it easier to find. I will put a link in the description as well as a link in the comment section. Thanks for watching.